how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. In today's video, I would love to share with you what I'm eating for the week. So I'm going to be prepping. I've done my food shop at Aldi. I've got a house full of food, kitchen full of, fridge full of food. And I'm about to prep it to make it into quick, convenient, delicious meals that I can eat on the go and stay healthy. Ah, that clicked though. Healthy. <laughs> strong and lean. If you want to see what I'm eating this week and get some ideas for stuff that you can eat too, then simply keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, leave me a comment letting me know what you think and yeah, let's get cooking. Okay, so we are going to be making three different meals. I'm just going to get started. I don't know where to start. There's so much to do. Ah oh, crap, I'm panicking. Okay, so I'm going to start with the things that take the longest. So I want to pop the chicken in the oven, which is for one of the meal preps. Um, now I am using thigh pieces and leg pieces um, off the bone because I find it just tastes better than chicken breast. Um, but what I do do is that I remove the skin so that it's less fat. So we're starting with a protein in the oven chicken. So there's my chicken all skinned and in the tray. I know that is a lot of chicken right there. I'm really casual about flavoring my chicken because once you have like ready-made seasonings, you don't have to go too crazy to be honest. I'm gonna add some jerk seasoning to like one bit of the tray, some Cajun seasoning to another bit and some peri-peri to another bit, just so there's like a range of flavors. What did the chef say to the chicken? I got time for you. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add some thyme. <laughs> These won't get dry because they're all cooking in a massive tray. Um, but I'm just going to spritz them with fry lights. And you get some really good stock from cooking them all together like this, which you can use for other stuff too, as you shall see. I'm just going to pop that in the oven. I've got some whole grain brown rice, which I'm just going to sieve and rinse. Um, just about yay much. Rinse there. And I'm going to add that into a frying pan. Ooh. Just going to throw in some roughly chopped onions add in a bit of water into the pan a little bit of rock salt some black pepper and some tarragon and I'm gonna bring the temperature way up okay so next I'm gonna take what it looks like a pretty excessive amount of carrots and parsnips I'm gonna cut off the ends chop them up roughly and throw them in a pan bowl why can't I pot pot of boiling water with a bit of salt as well. Then I'm gonna take two large sweet potatoes. I've washed them and chopped them up. So these ones I'm gonna chop a little bit more neatly, um, just into some nice potato slices. This is so hard. So I've got my sweet potato slices all laid out nicely and I'm just gonna sprinkle them with some paprika because that goes so, so well with sweet potato. So just be, you know, be generous with it. Then I'm gonna add in some sea salt. And then I'm gonna keep it nice and crispy by spraying it with some Fry Light spray all over the potatoes. Now, if you're wondering, Oh my goodness, like that's got none on it and that's got loads on it. I'm also just going to toss them up together so all sides are evenly covered because we don't take things too seriously here, you know? We live, you learn. So just like literally just smush them on each other. This is a very particular chef's technique which only the best have learnt but I essentially just smush them all over each other. Look at that chicken, yes. I'm just gonna pop the sweet potato into the oven. Now when the rice is on its way to being done, you just wanna add in some broccoli and cauliflower florets. So I'm just gonna rinse those and throw them inside. Okay, so then I'm gonna, ooh, that's steaming. <laughs> just gonna take these bad boys out. Um, I'm not even sure if they're done actually. I should probably check, right? Okay, so you just wanna, Oh, yeah, those are perfect. So soft enough to pierce easily, but not mushy. Perfect, they're done. Then I'm gonna throw in some chopped red chilies into the pan. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna pour the chicken stock into the pan and continue to cook the rice in the chicken stock. Okay, so then I've just got this like pork fillet, which I'm gonna season with some parsley, some black pepper, 
and some curry goat, which isn't really traditional for pork, but it just tastes really good, really good seasoning, so I don't care. <laughs> in the oven. Ah! Okay, so you're gonna know that these are done, the carrots and the parsnips, when they are super soft. Like, look how soft that is. It literally just breaks up the fork. And so those are done. I'm gonna drain them and mash them. And I'm just mashing up these vegetables. I've removed all of the water. I'm just gonna mash them up. Yes! We were nearly done. I'm just gonna heat up some oil in the pan to make my last protein which are turkey, um, turkey something, turkey steaks, I think. Um, and I'm heating up some extra virgin olive oil. So I've got my turkey breast steaks and I'm gonna add them to the hot pan. I'm gonna stand back, cause this might, oh, no, <laughs> anti-climatic. And then in here, I've just added in some black pepper and some salt and some chunks of lighter mature cheese. And you can add in some milk as well, but I just don't really want you today. So I'm just gonna mix that together. And because it's still hot, the cheese will melt by itself. And I'm gonna throw in some washed whole leaf spinach as well. And there we have it. Now you can always taste it. If you want it a bit creamier, you can add in some milk. Um, do what you want, really. This is just how I like it. The pork is done and out of the oven. So I'm just gonna cut that up and serve it in the preps. I think I'm just going to cut it into four and um, because there are four preps left that need a protein sauce. So I am all done with the meal prep. I am done cooking for the week. I don't have to cook again all week, which I love. And I have 13 healthy, delicious meals that I can just grab and go all through the week. Thank you, Jesus. So do you want to see what I'm eating? Let me show you what I'm eating. We have the chicken and the carrot and parsnip mash, which I love. Um, so I kind of like to mix and match, by the way, you guys. I start with a meal in mind, then I always just kind of throw together different proteins, different carb sources, different vegetables, etc. So I've got four of those delicious meals. This is quite a high protein meal because I've got two um, pieces of chicken in each one. And then mixing it up, putting some chicken with the brown rice, uh, which is delicious, by the way, absolutely delicious. And then I have some pork with the brown rice in two of them. And then here I have just some canned butter beans. So as you know, sorry, I don't know why I should put that in my mouth. I was just kind of hungry. As you know, I love keeping canned beans and peas in the house and just throwing them into meal preps. It is super cheap and super easy. So I've just opened a can of butter beans, thrown those in with some sweet potato slices, some spinach and some fried turkey steak. I have three of those and then pretty much the same again, but with some pork instead and those are all my meal preps and I'm very excited to eat these super duper excited and that is it for the meal prep thank you so much for watching you guys um I hope that you've enjoyed it and you've got like I don't know a few ideas of the kind of food that I eat and some recipe ideas and how I get myself organized on a Sunday night ahead of the week so that there is no stress because I am really quite busy right now with training and work and all the extracurricular stuff. So I just want to make sure that my food is done and prepped and is never a source of stress for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe for more uh, videos and check out my Instagram because all of my Instagram highlights are so many meal preps because I literally just film <laughs> on my Instagram stories whenever I'm cooking. Um, so you can get loads more recipes on there too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. <laughs>